So the Uber whistleblower says current business model absolutely unsustainable. And I have to agree with him. It's not going to end very well for Uber and Lyft if they carry on down this path. So Mark McGann, uh, thank you for standing up. Thank you for being a whistleblower, founder of Moonshot Ventures and the senior executive behind the Uber Files, holds a news conference during the Web Summit. Um, Mark McGann, the whistleblower behind the so-called Uber Files, said on Wednesday that the ride-hailing company seemed to be taking steps towards improving its work culture, but that its business model was still absolutely unsustainable. The Guardian and Le Mans newspapers reported in July that Uber Technologies Inc. broke laws and secretly lobbied politicians as part of an aggressive drive to expand into new markets from 2013 to 2017. McGann, who led Uber's lobbying efforts to win over governments, identified himself as the source who leaked the more than 124,000 company files. McGann said he decided to speak out because he believed Uber knowingly fl uh, flouted laws uh, and misled people about the benefits of drivers of the company's gig economy model. Uber said in July in response to the Guardian and Le Mans reports, we have not and will not make excuses for past behavior. That is clearly not in line with our present values. McGann said Uber's current CEO, Dara Koshashawi, and his executive team have done a lot of good things, but they have so they have so so far to go. When asked for comment, an Uber spokesman on Wednesday referred Rodgers to a 2020 New York Times opinion piece by Kosha Shawi in which he said our current employment system is outdated and unfair. Kosha Shawi had said gig workers would lose the flexibility. Uh, they have today if they became employees and that rides would be more expensive. The CEO wrote that workers want both flexibility and benefits and added that the new laws are required to help them. I'm proposing that gig economy companies be required to establish benefit funds which give workers cash that they can use for benefits they want like health insurance or pay time off. My message to Uber is you've done well but you can do so much better because the current model is absolutely uh, not sustainable. McGann told a news conference during Europe's largest tech conference, the Web Summit in Lisbon. He said Uber recently reiterated that the core of its business model is independent contractors. Since everybody wants to be self-employed, everybody wants flexibility. He said the facts, however, contradict this view as there are Uber drivers suing the company in various countries to have a basic minimum of social protection, such as sick pay. Uber is pumping tens of millions of dollars in Europe, United States, other parts of the world fighting legislation, he said. And that is true. So again, I appreciate this guy because he had the balls, he had the goonies to spe speak up and expose a lot of this corruption. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you. And... Um, he says the business model is absolutely unsustainable. What do you think? Your comments, please, please stay safe. And again, strike with us over Thanksgiving weekend, um, November 23 to November 26. Leave your comments below. Have a great day.